I'm not sure. No, 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 what I was saying was, um, Listen to me. Let me finish what I'm saying. Uh -huh. I think that's what you're going to say. What? Okay. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. I know, but yeah, that's what I was saying. Let me talk to this here lady. Okay? I'll call you back. Okay. Yes, How yes. How are you doing? I have a situation with my daughter. Um, and this lady called. First off, first off, I need to switch ACS workers that's supposed to be handling this case. One lady told her I'm coming to do a home visit. I don't even know what you're talking about, so you gotta calm down and explain it to me. What is the problem? What's your daughter's name? I don't know your case name. What's your case name? Okay, my name is Jamel Williams. Okay. I have a daughter. Her name is Bailey Williams. Okay, so what's the problem? Okay. I took it to a doctor's appointment that was scheduled by a social worker at the hospital. Friday. Okay? Um, she called the ACS because my daughter was being viciously bitten by bed bugs and insects at her mother's house. It's on file already that one of her uncles was touching on my daughter, okay? Cool. No, we investigated that case, it's unfounded. Okay, it's unfounded, but he was grooming her. He, he pulled between the legs, it's on paper, whatever, whatever. It wasn't molestation or nothing because it was unfounded. I get that part. But grooming is still disrespectful. It's, it's, it's steps prior to molestation, and I thank God I was able to catch it before it even got any worse. Okay? Um, I'm a black king and I don't appreciate the disrespect, so I, I don't care about the ADC as far as y'all trying to enforce our rules on me. Now, I'm at the hospital last week Friday. I bought my daughter, I had 11.30 appointment. I picked up my daughter. I was accosted in the waiting room by white police officers and a white social worker. They pulled me from my daughter, didn't let me talk to her, disrespected me, talked down to me, and embarrassed me psychologically, castrated me and my daughter in the waiting room, full of a bunch of Indians, white people, and Orientals, okay? I was the only black family in there. I recorded the situation, okay? Um, then, when they took my daughter from me and I tried to keep her calm, because I made her uncomfortable, by the hands of your ACS worker, who told the hospital to take my daughter from me and I'm not to be with my daughter. Two days prior, this call was made to the, in, from the hospital. Y'all could have called me professionally, respectfully, and told me there's a mix up or something like that. Y'all wait till I get to the hospital to disrespect me and castrate me psychologically in front of my daughter. I don't play racial profiling and I don't play racial injustice. I'm not with that whether you, this ACS or not. The way y'all fought, y'all violently and vehemently disrespecting me, I feel as though it's wrong. Um, so, after this, while the situation is occurring, I'm standing there trying to talk to them, explain the situation. They still beating me down. I don't care, Mr. Williams, you can't have your daughter. Stay away from your daughter, Mr. Williams, you can't be near your daughter. But the ACS lady's wrong. The hospital's wrong. We don't care, Mr. Williams. I think we gotta go outside. Let's leave, Mr. Williams. Your daughter gonna stay there. You can't have your daughter. You can't be with your daughter. Y'all wrong, though. Call the ACS lady and make it work. See what's going on. I have custody of my daughter on the weekends. But I think your custody After starts school. at 520. It starts whenever mm -hmm. school is over. No, and school does not end until after 5. Uh, for mm -hmm. the after-school program, which I put her in. I'm the responsible parent. My daughter was living with me all her life. Her mother just got custody December 7th because I was incarcerated because she said I broke an order of protection. Yes, I did plead out to the charge so I could see my daughter for Christmas. Okay. I'm not going to play the semantics with my reasoning, but I'm black, and all white supremacy does is disregard me. And we're not going to use other black hands to do their dirty work. Now, I was accosted, and I spoke to so the lady calls me back and tells me, trying to talk, oh, Mr. Williams, you heard you was upset and rude, and miss, miss, don't call me. Talk about my attitude when you set me up for failure. You're not calling me to apologize. I said it should have been her first words. Mr. Williams, I apologize for the misunderstanding. But because I'm black, y'all feel as though y'all could degrade me and I'm supposed to just chalk it up as a learning experience or just brush it off my shoulders and move on. The lady called me today to talk about, oh, she still has to do a home visit. Mm -hmm. You're not forcing your will on me. I don't care what agency, police, ACS. I don't want her around me. I would like another worker. 
so I can move on with the situation um, maturely. Okay, so moving forward, what we understand of the custody order in terms of what we have, what we have reviewed, but I will review it again, is that the exchange of the exchange of visitation takes place when the child gets out of after school, which, if I'm not mistaken, is after five o'clock. But that's neither here nor there. Okay. You're right. It's neither here nor there. She had a doctor's appointment. Okay. Again, I say, again, like I spoke to Miss Sharper, that situation concerning when you pick up the daughter, when you deliver the child, when you have the child, that's really not an ACS issue, and the mother and you need to handle that in family court, okay? No, it's not okay. Y'all ACS, right? Y'all okay, job wait, is to wait, protect wait, my wait, daughter wait, wait, wait. and my rights. Y'all no, did not my, do that. My, daughter, my job, the Administration for Children's Services, the, our client is the child. Okay, but did y'all protect my daughter? Yes, we did. How'd you protect my daughter, ripple her from her father, verb, visual, visually in her face and then talk down to me in front of my little six-year-old daughter. I did not talk down to you. Okay. Yeah, you wasn't involved, but that's what y'all allowed and y'all supposed to be protecting her. Okay, y'all not so protecting sir, her mentally or psychologically. Want, what is it that you want today to happen? I want another worker. Okay, if so do today Miss Sharper said to you she needs to make a visit. She's not coming to my house. Again, I say, did you speak to Miss Sharper and yes. she said she needed to make a visit? And I told her, send another worker. And you said you would, you would rather have another worker. Right. I'm not I cannot guarantee that the case is going to be assigned, but I can make sure that another worker makes a visit. Sure, I'm fine okay. with that. So now we've addressed that. No, that I still want an apology. Okay, well, I can't apologize for you because Michelle I'm... needs to apologize to my okay. daughter. Okay, so what I will do is I will have a conversation with Ms. Sharper when I see her today about what transpired, and if an apology is a pertinent, she will apologize. Ms. Sharper is very child-friendly. We have no problems with children. And if Ms. Sharper hurt your daughter's How family, do you say such an allegation about her? Sir, I just said to you. She's trying to stand up for her. I She's said, wrong. I didn't say that. I just said to you. She's very child-friendly. I said to you, because I'm the manager and I, and I service all of my staff, I know Ms. Sharper is very child-friendly. If something took place that I'm not aware of and your daughter was hurt, I will speak to Ms. Sharper and she will apologize to your daughter when she sees your daughter. That's not a problem. That's what I said, and that's what will happen. You said to me that there's a visit to, supposed to take place at your home. You don't want Ms. Sharper coming to your home. I just said to you, I will make arrangements for another worker. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I'm fine with that. But listen, no. I text Ms. Sharper, and I told her you text. Do not allow any Caucasians to tell you, I'll be fine. It's okay. I'll get over it. Okay, we're not getting into semantics. No, no, we're going to get into the racial situation. <laughs> I'm not getting into the. I don't appreciate the... what y'all did, to me. sir. I just said to you. You want me to tuck my tail between my legs, though? I'm not, I'm not that saying black person. That. I just said to you, you offer, you brought to my attention two situations. I'm addressing them. You said you do not want Miss Sharper coming to your home. Right, and I want an apology. And you want an apology. Right. I said Miss Sharper's not here. I can't give you that right now. I said to you, but I will make sure another worker comes to your home. I've addressed that. You said okay, that fine. you want your, your daughter to have an apology, that the situation was very hurtful to your daughter. I said I will address that with Ms. Sharper, and upon us seeing your daughter again, we will apologize. Not a problem. Okay. Okay? So we fine. No exploited. Black excellence still. Thank you. Have a good day.